It's an unusual tourist attraction here in Buxton, the preparation and moving of the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse and its outlying buildings. Well, the project continues to move forward with the target date still June 15th for having the lighthouse on its new foundation. What will happen in the next couple of weeks is that the keeper's quarters, the two uh, White Houses, will be going to their new foundations, and that should probably take place in the next two weeks or so. The plan is to put the lighthouse on these tracks and move it almost 2,000 feet inch by inch to its new location. In the meantime, most of the area will remain open to the public. But you'll see a, an orange fence and that's the work area. Beyond that, the area is closed and that includes the, the beaches as well. Some folks are dropping by for one last look, everyone with their own thoughts on the move. It's a big operation. I think it should have been done uh, some time ago. I hope they're successful with it. Well, I think it's beautiful to be right beside the water. And I'm, you know, traditionally, I, I kind of like it where it is. Um, as long as it's not going to be too far off, I guess it's okay. I'd rather see it saved than lost. The actual lighthouse move will take place sometime in late May or early June. And if all goes well, open back up to the public sometime in the summer of 2000. In Buxton, Jeff Myers in Carolina Country. Last year, this is what the grounds of the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse looked like from Chopper 10. This week, construction trailers take the place of the double keeper's quarters that used to sit here as construction crews prepare the lighthouse for its final move. They're still looking at about a month away, late May, to get the lighthouse actually in motion. They're still removing the original foundation, and they're probably about 75 to 80% done with that right now. The construction site has become a tourist attraction of sorts, curiosity seekers getting one last look before the big move. Well, I would much rather see it move than to lose it to the ocean. That ocean is constantly moving and uh, you can't stop Mother Nature. A quick walk through the woods about 1,500 feet away, you'll find the old buildings at their new location. Over the next few weeks, workers will continue to work on the base of the lighthouse and also prepare the gravel road that runs along here that will eventually lead the lighthouse to its new location. But for now, time is running out for one last picture of the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse as we've known it for over a hundred years. Uh, but it's, it's still people coming out with the nice weather. They've learned about what's going on and they just have to see it for themselves. From Buxton, Jeff Myers in Carolina Country.
Well, it's just, just like a new day. hurdle every day, and you, you, you uh, every day you get up and see how we're going to conquer this one because a lot of stuff hadn't been done before. I've been in construction all my life, but this is special. A 208-foot lighthouse weighing 5,000 tons to be moved a half mile. The last of seven roll beams on which the lighthouse assembly will travel are going into place. The weight will be transferred onto those travel beams, and then hydraulic jacks will push the lighthouse five feet at a time. Here you can see your rollers. Uh, these will go around like a caterpillar track. We've got an electrical monitoring system which will tell us the tilt, out of roundness, any stress points, uh, anything that's building up is different than what was before. All the while, a computer system monitors tilt down to 1 16th of an inch. A system of gauges and valves allows engineers to adjust the system of 50 hydraulic jacks to keep the lighthouse level. Right here, it looks like it's a little out, but it's, it's almost perfect. If we have a problem, okay, we see it start to develop, and we can take corrective action before we proceed. The National Academy of Sciences studied all the options, and they said, really, the only long-term way to save a lighthouse is to move it. So we're glad that it's being moved. It's, kind of, it's, a, it's a happy day. And with that, the 48-ton Cape Hatteras Lighthouse is settled into its new home. It's a day project managers have been waiting on for weeks. That's it. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's really nice to be into over the uh, foundation slab, the concrete slab, and uh, uh, that means that we are semi-protected from the weather and from hurricanes. And uh, of course, that's a good feeling now. A day tourists from all over the United States have come to see. It's a once in a lifetime thing. Part of Things have been here for a long time, and they had to save it somehow. We saw the last three inches that it was moved, and what was that like? uh, enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, it was really nice. We this is where the lighthouse used to stay, but because of the pounding surf virtually knocking at its back door, it had to be moved some 2,900 feet inland. That's almost 10 football fields long. It's a tedious process, but one project manager say moved rather quickly. It's been going like clockwork. It's been very quick. Uh, of course, we've been cautious along the way where we where needed to be. And 